Although they do have some black rot on this vine at home, uh, we do have grapes and we're getting ready to go to the river three or four days. And they need about uh, maybe that long or longer. And when we get back, the birds will have eaten them all. Well, one of the first things we did when we came down here to see one of the, one of these two uh, buds we saw the other day were flowering. And they are, even if it's uh, muted sunshine in here. The one on the right is a lot bigger than the one on the left, but they're really beautiful. And the peppers are short and stubby. We have had enough rain. You can see how wet the soil is. We got over two inches a couple of days ago. And we do have peppers. We got orange ones and red ones and we even planted some uh, hot peppers, which we don't usually do. The squash is sort of on the poor side. There's a lot of plants that just died. We've got some uh, Squash spores have got into a whole bunch of these. And we've lost them and pulled them. Every time I plow the leaves under it rains like the dickens. See when you plow this up and the roots are exposed in the sunlight they dry out and they die. But if it rains three hours later it gets enough moisture and soil around the roots to keep them alive. There's one little, I gotta clip a few branches off these bottoms or take those suckers off near the ground. No matter how many times you tie them up when they get this big. See that's tied to that, to that, to that. And now we'll have to come in here and tie this to that, to that, to that, and pull all these up. I was looking for figs over here the other day, couldn't find them. That's the way it is when you have a the camera ready, but they're in here. I just couldn't, didn't hit the right spots. I would have to say that the figs are probably three or four weeks behind what they would normally be with this being a normal healthy tree. But uh, we'll get all that we care to eat. That bed up a little more. It's a little shaded on this end, which is bothering me. And this is a muscadine that I'm going to take out and I got all this grass up around it and put it in a bamboo chute and tied them all up and uh, I don't know, it's uh, at least a dozen canes coming off of those and it's once from an old rooting here and once from an old rooting there where it was just one plant. And we're starting to pick cucumbers. This is my favorite. We picked two like that last night. Almost needed a flashlight to find them. This is Calypso. It's a smaller cuke and it's my favorite. There's my Irish spring on this end of the garden. I've got some on the other end. The winds blow from these two predominant directions. Okra is growing, but it's a little slow. We bought these uh, lava beans as pole beans and they started growing and they looked like bush beans and then some of them started bolting like pole beans so we put the net up and uh, that one there is starting to set flowers and some of them was, are not doing it. Two rows of them. Some of them look like bush and some of them look like pole beans. You know that would climb and these are just regular string beans we we froze uh, last year 94 quarts so we're up to our ears and beans but it's nothing like a few fresh green beans to eat so we just planted one row and Al seem to be doing the job because we have ripe berries and the birds aren't eating them Sort of nice to be able to come out here and they're not gone from the birds. We have yet to see a bird fly in or out of these blueberries. 
This one here, which usually doesn't put out as much as the other one, is putting out a lot less than even normal. It's a good berry, it's just, uh, doesn't put out as many blueberries as this one does. And we still have berries from last year. And my bride has her family reunion here next weekend, and it's uh, been here every year since 1971. So, 81, 91, 101, 44 years. I did plant these callas. These are some that I grew from seed three years ago on the first video I did on growing them from seed. And uh, they're both kinds of variegated and non-variegated. And I improved the soil here, added uh, compost to it, a little lime and a little fertilizer. And uh, that will fill this corner in. And the hostas really have seed pods be a great year for seeds and these come up true to seed. Well, this is their marigolds out front. They've been uh, unbelievable. They grew like mad like it was almost too much nitrogen in the pot when I mixed up the soil and changed a little bit of it earlier. And now they've got a bunch of flowers coming. This one's got a bunch of flowers. It's only like eight plants in these things, maybe nine. And uh, it's got tons of flowers to open but it's just sporadic and wow who knows now this is my neighbor's yard and they've been here about 17 18 years old and these uh hostas have been in the ground probably 10 or 12 years at least and these are gorgeous and when people started fooling with hostas we uh, probably late 70s we really got kicked into the hostas, and everybody had this variation of green and white. But see these, they haven't been disturbed, you haven't cut any off of it, you haven't given any slips to anybody, you haven't divided them, they're just nice plants. And here's another one with a few irises with it. But they just are absolutely gorgeous for the time they've been in the ground. Now this is their Italian honey and it always develops figs later than the uh, one we have across the street. But you can see they're really small but they're starting to uh, send out little figs. This one generally is not as sweet as the other fig tree we have and if, in periods of a lot of rain it really does get sort of watery and we're leaving that trunk in there to this winter because it had right much growth on it but that's going to be a pretty good bush because that part of the cottage is 24 feet wide and that's at least two-thirds of that getting ready for my wife's uh, big family reunion I think I've said it before on one of these videos that it's been going on since 1971 every year the furthest they've come is from uh, Colorado. They don't come every year, but that's a big deal to come from Colorado for a weekend. And my wife trimmed up all the weeds in here. And uh, next week we'll have our big reunion. I gotta go over there and undo my flag. The wind has uh, rolled it up on its staff. Well, it's a uh, quarter to four on Monday the 13th of July. And this is what we picked today off our cherry tomatoes and our cucumbers. These are those calypsos. And these are the 4th of Julys. And these are the sweet millions. And I have, uh, usually we plant 13 in a row. And the cherry tomato row is a little crowded this year. We've got 12 sweet millions and three of these in that row so this came from 12 plants this is just the second picking <laughs> 